Good evening, Wicks. How you all doing today? All righty. So, you know, we have been speaking, speak, excuse me, speaking about trusting beyond what we can determine, right? And then we, it's like a stepping stone, right? We went from building a sturdy, a sturdy relationship with the Lord, right? That was the foundation. Then God was like, okay, after you have built a sturdy relationship with me, then I now need you to learn how to operate in my, my timing because we have to understand that God's timing is perfect timing, right? And we use one of our foundational scriptures, which is Habakkuk 2 and 3, where it says in the message translation that if it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Amen. And that's what God is really saying to us, that it will not delay. My timing. My timing is not your timing. Because we learned that our timing and God's timing aren't the equivalent. They aren't. They are not equivalent. It's like they're on a different metric system. Amen. And I did my study because I was like, Lord, that was by the Spirit of God. And I was like, God, that sounds stupid. But I did my study and the Holy Spirit was on point with that. I was like, yo, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> amen. But today we're going to be speaking about strength from weakness. Amen. In other words, through this timing of being of waiting, yeah, we know that through the timing of waiting, it's, some, it's a, a couple of components that are needed, that is needful, because God will not send you ill-prepared to a prepared place. He will not. So if God said that I need you to sit still or God says I need you to go here, Best believe God has provided, amen. The Bible tells us that when um, before and after God has sent Abraham a man, a man, I mean the father of faith, to sacrifice his son. And most people skip that, but before he even did, before he even sent his um, son up to be sacrificed to, unto the Lord, he said God will provide. And then he said it again after the angel of God spoke really quick and said, do not lay slay any knife towards um, to your son and this, that, and the third. And then the Bible tells us that it was a ram in the bush. And then uh, Abraham labeled that mountain as the Lord will provide. Amen. So that is what's going on right now. God is now showing us that he is Jehovah Jireh. Amen. He is Jehovah Jireh and that he is our provider. He will, he, he, not only will he provide, but he will send provision. Amen. Provide provision. Always remember that. Provide provision. Provision provide. Amen. God will not send you to a place where he doesn't, he has not sent out provision. Amen. So like I was speaking to you about two components that are main or that are just like restricted, not restricted, excuse me, that is vital, yeah, that's the perfect word, that is vital for this, this component or just to lay down some more foundation on top of what we've been learning about building and all this lovely stuff, right? So we're now talking about strength from weakness, amen? So let me, do me a favor, we're going to go to actually... We're going to go to 2 Corinthians 12 and, um, 12 and 9, amen. Give you all a couple of seconds. You all should be pros at this Bible now because we, we, we learn, major, well, not majority, but half of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then after John, it is Acts. Then after Acts is Romans, then 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, amen. I think you all should get there. I gave you all a cheat sheet. <laughs> amen. <clears throat> you already know how I go. Oh, I'm ooh, I'm tripping, right? I didn't even turn to my page, but oh well, I'll get to it in a sec. We're gonna declare over the word, amen. I declare in the name of Jesus that my Bible is full of provisions. I declare in the name of Jesus and I acknowledge Jehovah Jireh that he will that the Lord will provide for me in my household, and every person that is in five miles of radius of me. I declare in the name of Jesus that my eyes and my ears are anointed to hear and see what is God saying to me today. And I declare in the name of Jesus that whatever seeds that are being sown in my ground are, will bring forth good fruit in its proper and due season. And I declare it, and it is so in Jesus' name that I pray. I seal it with the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. So now we're actually, actually, let me turn to it. I'm at John. 
Okay. I'm going to die. I'm going to give you uh, 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Okay, I can there. So now the Bible is telling us right here. And if you all don't know, majority, 66% of the Bible, not 66, but a majority of the New Testament is written by Apostle Paul, a man of God that Paul thought he was doing something, well, excuse me, Saul thought he was doing something for Christ's sake that he was actually persecuting Christ. It was crazy. But we're gonna we're probably going to be learning about him too, amen. But for the sake of time, um, we're going to stay focused and we're going to stay on timing. But we went, we're going to 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Well, the Bible tells us that, but he said to me, my gracious grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Amen. So, in other words, this is what, what this is what is being said. You know what? I'm gonna actually read um, another translation. You know, I like my message translation now. I'm just like, look here, Jesus, that's awesome. And the Bible tells us in um, the message translation that my my grace is enough. It's all you need. My strength comes into its own in your weakness. That's what God is saying to us right now. Amen. So He's saying that my grace is enough. My grace is enough. It's all you need. You don't. You look no further. You have what you need. And that my strength, and this is God's strength. We're not talking about human strength, but God's strength. It comes into us in in its own in our weakness. Because you know you hear people say before, you know where uh, where we're weak. That's where God is being made strong. Amen. So I just love the fact that we have two gifts. Oh, I stepped ahead of myself. But this is a gift from God. Grace is a gift from God. It was undeserved. Amen. It was undeserved. How You know, how would you feel if, just like love, just like Jesus' love, it's undeserved. Like, one, if we were to read it out of the Old Testament, we were undeserved. Like, we received something that was undeserved. Like, we didn't even supposed to be in the position that we were supposed to be in. It's supposed to be the Israelites, and it's supposed to be God's chosen people, whatever the Jews. But us as the Gentiles, we received something undeserved. Like, yo, like, that was hot. You know, and I just be like, whoop, whoop, God, that's you. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for people that don't know you, that don't even sometimes don't even acknowledge you, right? So now... I love it. So the second um, second thing that is being given to us, because we keep in mind that the title of this message is Strength from Weakness, right? So the second thing that is being given unto us is peace. So we have grace and we have peace. And peace is giving is a given gift by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So do me a favor. Let's go to uh, John 14. John 14, 25 through 27. So we're going to be flipping back to the 11. Us oh, is the 11. To the left. <laughs> is that to the 11. That's cute. All right. So now we're on John 14. Don't you hate when you think that you know where you are and then you have to go more page over? But, anyway. but the Bible tells us in verses 25. Matter of fact, I'm going to read out of my message translation. Well, the Bible tells us out of the message translation that I'm telling you these things while I'm still living with you. So keep in mind right now God is speaking to the people that he's in human flesh, but he's speaking to the people and saying this. And I'm telling you these things while I'm still living with you. You're the friend, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send at my request. So in other words, if it wasn't for Jesus, we wouldn't have the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit was a giving gift to us. Amen. So let's keep that always in mind. Yeah will make everything plain to you. Amen. So right then and there, we just got to, we just received a gift, which is the Holy Spirit, that that is simple as pie. I mean, we may feel like we're complex, but thank God for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit makes everything so simple. Amen. Praise God. So then the Bible also tells us that he will remind you of all the things I have told you. So even us that have never even walked with Jesus, but the Holy Spirit is so awesome. He He's in the presence of God day and night. He is a part. He is there. Even when creation was created, he was there. Amen. So he will remind us of things that Jesus talked about. 
what the old prophet spoke about, even beyond beyond what is being written, because people limit God just by the the Bible. But we have to understand that we had to receive the knowledge of it before we can re- receive the revelation. When you have a true revelation with God, it God will take take you further and beyond what is written. Amen. What what you can see, because when it's written, you can see it. But God is saying, I'm trying to take my people to a new level where you know, you will no longer limit me to just this Bible. That I will use it. I will never come contradict what's in this word. But I will take you further. I will take you further and I will show you things that you know not of. That's what the Bible tells us. Amen. So then also the Bible tells us that I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you well and whole. So I'm leaving you healthy. I'm leaving you healthy, Okay. That's my parting gift to you. I give you peace. Hmm. So, this is what Jesus is saying to us, people of God, that, okay, you want to operate in my right timing, in my perfect timing, guess what? I've given you grace that is undeserved. I've given you peace that was a given gift through my gift to you. So you had, a, you had actually three gifts in total. Amen? So I just bless God for this, and this is the closing remarks of what is what has been spoken about. Always take this home with you. Take this and write it down. Write it down. Take a picture. I don't care. You are fully equipped with every tool you'll need to stand firmly while waiting. I say that again. You are fully equipped with every tool you'll need to stand firmly while waiting. So you have no excuse to not be patient. God is giving you everything that you need. That's what God is saying right now. He is giving you everything you need. Every, every, everything you need. So when you feel like, God, this is too much, think about it. I got grace. I got peace. You got peace. You got grace. Amen. They're, they're similar if not the same. Amen. They come from the same person. So I bless God for this word. I, I, I just love how God just be downloading and just be speaking to his people, man. I'm serious serious about this because I want to go higher and I know you do I know you want to go higher amen but I love you all so dearly and I just bless God for what he is doing in our generation and all the messages and all the words that he is just downloading just speaking and saying from left and right amen but <clears throat> this is just the beginning you we haven't seen anything we have not seen anything talk about miraculous signs and wonders are occurring as we speak, my God, I'm excited. I am excited, but God first wants us to build what? Trust. That God is raising up a people that will trust, be able to see beyond what we can see. Because remember, that's our quote, right? That trusting the Lord has us to see what God sees. Not what we see, but what God sees. What we see, well, excuse me, what God sees. Once we are able to say, you know what, God, Take take my human eyes out. Place yours in. Now we're talking business. Amen. But I bless God. I bless God. I bless God. That's, that's all I just keep feeling in my spirit. I just want to bless and honor God for what he is doing. Amen. But I love you all. Um, you all have a great night. And we'll be speaking very shortly, okay? But I love you all. Mwah. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> Remember it, follow me as I follow Christ. I just totally forgot my, my slogan of the dog on wigs. How how did that happen? I got so consumed on blessing God, but you know what? I bless God even in the midst of that, amen. But I love you all and I will see you all very shortly, okay? Mwah. Love you. <laughs>